Today we're going to evaluate and compare instruction texts. To be successful, you will, com you will identify the features of instruction texts, you will compare instruction texts based on their features, you will say which instruction text is the best and which is the worst, and you will explain your thinking. Now read this instructions text here on the PowerPoint or read it on a piece of paper by clicking on the attachment on the Edmodo page. How to make a Chinese paper lantern. Here are some simple clear instructions that show you how to make a Chinese paper lantern. You will need materials, coloured card or paper, or plain paper if you do not have coloured, coloured pens, pencils or crayons, sequins or glitter, this is only optional, you don't need this. Ribbon, this is again optional, you do not need this. Equipment, scissors, glue or sticky tape. One, first fold the paper or card in half lengthways. Two, secondly, hold the card or paper horizontally from the folded edge and use the scissors to cut lines which go from the fold down towards the edge of the card or paper. Make sure that the cuts stop before the edge of the card. Three, next open the card or paper out and lay it flat so that you can decorate it. If you have glue, spread the glue over the paper or card and cover it in glitter or sequins. Otherwise, use crayons or pencils to color the lantern neatly in Chinese New Year themed colors and pictures. Four, when it is completely dry, bend the paper or card around into a cylinder shape. Use sticky tape or glue to hold it in place firmly. Five, finally make a handle for the lantern. Attach a thin strip of ribbon, paper or card to the top of the lantern on the inside. Now you have made a colourful Chinese lantern. You are ready to celebrate the final day of Chinese New Year. What are the features of an instructions text? Please remind yourself. You need a how-to heading. You need an introduction to hook the reader. You need a you will need subheading. You need two lists, one for equipment and one for materials. You need numbered instructions in the right order. You need a bossy verb in the present tense to begin each instruction. You need link diagrams to instructions. You need labels and captions, and you also need a short conclusion. Today we are going to be comparing two instruction texts based upon how to plant a sunflower seed. <clears throat> we are going to look at what instruction text features they each have and decide which we think is the best, which we think is the worst. We will be explaining our views as well. Each text is on the next two pages. Text one, how to plant a sunflower seed. What you need, a small pot, soil, seeds, watering can, water. What you do, first fill the pot with soil to just below the top, then add a little water to the soil. Next, carefully put one or two seeds onto the soil. Cover the seeds with a little more soil, Gently pour more water onto the soil. Top tip, water the soil every, every day to help your sunflower grow. Text two, how to plant a sunflower seed. Here are some simple instructions to show you how to plant a sunflower seed. What you need, a small pot, soil, seeds, watering can, water. What you do, one, first fill the pot with soil to just below the top, two, then add a little water to the soil. Three, next carefully put one or two seeds onto the soil. Four, cover the seeds with a little more soil. Five, gently pour more water onto the soil. Now you have planted a sunflower seed. Relax and enjoy your garden. Top tip, water the soil every day to help your sunflower grow. Next to the picture of the fully grown sunflower, is the caption, a fully grown sunflower plant. Next to the picture of the pot is the caption, planting the seed in a pot. Activity, write your answers to these questions. 
by using the following two versions of how to plate, plant a sunflower seed. The questions are, which text do you think would be the best to follow? What features of an instruction text do they each have? And which has the most features? Plenary. Can you complete these sentences in writing? I think text something is the best instructions text because it has. I think text something is not so good because. So complete the sentences by telling me what features of instructions each of the texts have. <laughs> 